everybody! Welcome to Huntington Beach Public Library Storytime. My name is Miss Carrie, and I'm happy that you're here doing songs and stories with me today. Are you happy too, Fancy? This is Fancy, and she wanted to pop in and say hello to all of our friends. Hi! Well, we're going to do a song to start us off. We're going to do a little wiggle song. You ready? Let's do it. All right, Fancy, have a seat while we say hello. You're going to put your hands up just like this and wave them back and forth. The next thing that you're going to do is reach across and pretend you're picking up trash. Reach and pick it up. Reach and pick it up. Just like that. Are you practicing? Good. The next thing that you're going to do is pretend to ride a bicycle. Can you do that? Hold your handlebars and move your feet up and down. Ride your bicycle. You can move your handlebars just like this while your feet are going up and down like they're on the pedals. All right. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to plant a garden. Can you scoop with the shovel and plant a seed? Scoop and plant. Scoop and plant. Are you ready? Let's put it all together. Hands up. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Pick up trash if you are glad to see me too. Pick up trash, everybody. Pick up trash. Pick up trash if you are glad to see me too. Good job. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Ride a bike if you are glad to see me too. Ride a bike, everybody. Ride a bike. Ride a bike if you are glad to see me too. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Plant a garden if you are glad to see me too. Plant a garden, everyone. Plant a garden. Plant a garden if you are glad to see me too. Good job, everybody. You put it all together. That was a clue about what we're going to read today. You want to do some magic? I want to do some magic. We're going to sing to the shapes. And after we sing to the shapes, they're going to disappear. And they're going to show us clues about the stories and songs we read today. Ready? Let's start with our blue circle. Everyone? Blue circle, blue circle, what do you see? I see a yellow square looking at me. Yellow square, yellow square, what do you see? I see a red triangle looking at me. Very well done. Learning shapes is pre-reading. We want to make readers out of all of us. Now, it's time for magic. We need magic words to make our family disappear. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so I have my magic wand. Everybody raise your hands up and catch the magic. Here it comes. <gasps> Did you get it? Hold it close. It's so wiggly and tickly, it likes to fly away. <laughs> now that you have magic, you need the magic words. And the magic words are one, two, peek a boo. Want to try with me? Okay, magic word time. One, two, peek a boo. Do you see what the shape family left for us? This is the earth. This big earth is where we all live. This is a friend who is recycling. Everything that she brings in, she wants to recycle. And this is a beautiful tree with a pretty bird in a nest. Because when we keep the earth clean, our animals and things can grow in a nice clean place. Wouldn't you like to be in a nice clean place? Do you help clean up? At home? Cleaning up at home is just as important as cleaning up outside. Let's start with our first book together. This book is called Don't Throw That Away. Don't Throw That Away, a lift the flat book about recycling and reusing. Wow! 
Look at all of this trash. Did you know that you don't have to throw it all away? Do you see all of this paper, plastic, metal, and glass? You can recycle these objects and turn them into something new again. Or you can keep that trash and reuse it in all kinds of wonderful ways. Do you see that old jar? Don't throw that away. You can turn it into a vase. Look at that old jug. Don't throw that away. You can turn it into a new bird feeder. Let's see. Collect these used cans in your house, but don't throw them away. You can turn them into new instruments. Do your parents have old clothes that they don't wear anymore? Don't throw them away. You can turn them into new costumes. And if you have an old box, don't throw that away either. You can turn it into a cool toy car. Recycle and reuse anytime you can. The less trash there is to throw away, the cleaner the world will be. The end. There is a planet we call home and Earth is its name. E-A-R-T-H. E-A-R-T-H. E -A R-T-H and Earth is its name. We must all work to care for her to keep her safe and clean. C-L-E-A-N, 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 the planet we call home. Earth, clean. Let's sing a song together. Do you remember the song, If You're Happy and You Know It, Clap Your Hands? We're going to use that tune and change the words around to fit how we love our great big world. Now, when I say clap your hands, you clap your hands. When I say plant new trees, you say plant new trees. When I say recycle, you say recycle. When I say do your part, you say do your part. Got it? Here we go. If you love our world, clap your hands. If you love our world, clap your hands. If you love our world, really love our great big world. If you love our world, clap your hands. If you love our world, plant new trees. What do you say? Plant new trees. If you love our world, plant new trees. Plant new trees. If you love our world, plant new trees for birds and bees. If you love our world, plant new trees. Plant new trees. If you love our world, recycle. Recycle. If you love our world, recycle. Recycle. If you love our world, really love our great big world. If you love our world, recycle. Recycle. <laughs> Did you get it? Good job. You're really learning to do your part. I love Todd Parr books. This one is called The Earth Book. The Earth Book by Todd Parr. The Earth Book. I take care of the earth because I know I can do little things every day to make a big difference. I use both sides of the paper and bring my own bags to the market because I love the trees, 
and I want the owls to have a place to live. I turn off the faucet while I brush my teeth and use less water for my baths because <laughs> I love the fish and I want to see the ocean stay blue. I take the school bus and ride my bike because I love the stars and I want the air to be clear so I can see them sparkle. I try to eat every bite on my plate and save my leftovers because I love watching things grow and I want there to be enough food for everyone. I remember to turn off the lights and shut the refrigerator to save energy because I love the polar bears and I want the snowman to stay cool too. I throw garbage in the trash can and recycle glass, aluminum, paper, and plastic because I love to walk barefoot in the grass and I don't want to move to Mars. <laughs> Most of all, I help take care of the earth because I want us all to be happy and healthy. 10 ways I can help the earth. Turn off the lights, recycle, save my leftovers, <laughs> be nice to worms, share a book, plant a tree, use both sides of the paper, save water, clean up trash, and put my underwear in the freezer when it's hot. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Every one of us can help protect the earth and make it feel good. Remember, if we take care of it, it will take care of us. Love, Todd. The end. What are some things that you can do with your family to help take care of the earth? I bet you have lots of ideas. Well, it's time for us to go. Let's clap our hands and stomp our feet. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. See you next time. Yeehaw! Mm -hmm.